Hey, hope you guys are doing well. Like Grissom Solo Marketer here, and in this video, I want to quickly show you how to use the pipelines feature on System.io, which uh, at the time of recording this video, it's been around for maybe like a day or two. It's a really new feature. A lot of people are excited. It's uh, it's a completely new thing on System.io, and it's it's actually fairly simple and intuitive. And I kind of want to show you some kind of examples on how to use it, just so you have a better understanding how to utilize it uh, for free. You can do it on a free account as well, so that's a cool thing as well, as many things with System.io. Uh, it's a good thing that you can utilize all these features for free. So yeah, just in short, if you log into your System.io account, uh, if you don't have a System.io account in the description, you can do a free sign up. There's no credit card needed, all that stuff, so you can test it out. But if you do have an account, log in, click on pipelines, and over here you can see, since I haven't created one yet, so now it just kind of gives you this window where you can create one. This is kind of like a template one. And essentially, just to keep it short, uh, what a pipeline is, uh, it's a great way to, uh, map your customer journey and stay on top of things when it comes to knowing where each of your uh, lead and potential customer is in that whole journey, right? From the moment where they kind of learn about you or become your lead to the moment where they, let's say, become a high ticket client or, you know, they book you on their podcast or all kinds of things, right? You can do with this. You can kind of map out the process, all the vital steps of that process, right? From the beginning to the end. And you can um, map each individual lead in your CRM kind of through this process. You can move them around. It can be either manual or automated. We, we're going to go through that stuff as well. But yeah, it's a great way to stay on top of things, especially if you have multiple team members with access to this feature uh, where let's say one person does outreach, right? So that would be one uh, step of the pipeline. And then another person does, I don't know, sales calls, for example, right? So all the people can log into this one thing and they kind of see the big picture on which contacts are under which, you know, where each is at their, at which stage in the pipeline. So yeah, as, as an example, we can do something like, I don't know. So you can see here, like for example, there are new leads, initial contact, right? You do outreach, proposal sent, negotiation, deal one, deal lost, right? So this is essentially, let's say you're doing some sort of a cold outreach. For this example, we can do something like, let's say you're trying to, or your team members trying to book you on uh, on different podcasts as a guest, right? So let's do podcast outreach, right? So we can name the pipeline that. Let's save it. And here we are, right? So this is kind of, let's minimize my face. And here you can see each step of this pipeline or of this kind of customer journey, I like to call it. Uh, each has its own column and you can add leads to it. So let's say you have a bunch of leads. You have like 20 leads, 20 people that you want to reach out to. And you can list them here. And once you um, kind of reach out to this person, right, to one of them, you can move them to the next column, right? So you kind of to indicate that they're not a new lead anymore. They're kind of in the reaching out step, right? And if they respond, uh, if they respond, you can move them in the next one. And if they kind of want you or uh, on the podcast or, or maybe they want to do a call with you or whatever, that can be another column, right? Like, for example, over here, instead of proposal sent, we can do something like, we can edit this, then we can do something like, I don't know, call booked, for example, right? And then you can get on a call with them, right? Then after the call, you can do negotiation, and then deal one means you're getting on their podcast, deal lost means you're not getting on their podcast. So you can kind of do all kinds of things. So for example, here, let's add a contact. Uh, and you have two options. You can add an existing contact, and you can create a new contact. So with new contacts, you just, for this one, we can just kind of add a new contact, now let's just do this. And uh, with this, be careful if you're just adding contacts to your list, be careful with just, you know, kind of spamming these people, adding them to your regular mailing list or all that stuff. So kind of, that's kind of a, not a cool thing to do, right? You need their consent. Just to keeping them in the system for your own, you know, kind of private, keeping track of things, it's good. But don't, you know, just let's say you kind of find found some people online that you want know, to reach out to. There's some businesses. Don't just add them to your list and start sending them, you know, mass emails or whatever. So that's also just kind of keep that in mind. You can, you know, but you can still add them like this or you can add an existing contact. So let's click on next and you can just, you, know, you can just kind of start searching and you can just add a contact over here, right? So let's just save it. Let's say, yeah, I have like a new contact. That's a, a business owner that I found online and I want to do outreach to them. I want to get on their podcast, right? So if I click on the contact, you can click on this. You can send them an email. If you click on this, I'm not going to click it because it's not connected to anything. But it essentially, it's just it opens your um, kind of whatever software you use for email outreach. Like it's Outlook or some sort of a desktop version or on mobile, it's even simpler, right? It connects like immediately to your Gmail app or, or mailing app, whatever you have. If you click on it, you can do outreach. And once you've sent them a message, right, you've done the outreach and uh, you can move them to over here to the next one. 
Nope, there we go. Initial contact main, right? Then once they get back to you, then there's also, you can have like more columns over here. So you can kind of move these people. You add more leads and you can move them through these columns like this. So yeah, you can just add them manually. Uh, another way you can add them is automatically with automations. Um, let's say they fill out a form where they make a sale and you can move them to a specific, uh, kind of like a specific step in the pipeline. So it would look something like this. Let's say you have funnels, right? You go to sales funnels and let's say you have a lead generation funnel. You've, uh, I don't know, you sent your own mailing lists, uh, kind of like a link to, hey, if you want, if you're interested in this, being on a wait list for this high ticket program, just sign up here, right? They fill out a form. And once they fill out that form, they get added to this first column, kind of like, it can be named differently. It doesn't need to be this, but let's say people interested, right? Prospects, you can add them here. And the way you do it through an automation with a, with a form is if you click on the funnel over here, let's say this is a basic, this is not what I'm talking about, but this is just a basic lead generation funnel, right? Uh, that I've just been kind of playing around with in one of the previous videos. So uh, yeah, you need to create the automation under the squeeze page, click on automation rules, add a rule. So once they, uh, su submit their name and email in the form, right? And this is that specific funnel, right? It's automatically linked. The action is going to be, if you go to the bottom, you add them to a pipeline stage. So we have the pipeline, right? That we've just kind of looked at in the other tab and which column, which step of the pipeline you want them to be in. So in this case, new leads, it can also be named whatever else, right? Prospects, like I mentioned before, save rule. So it can be something as simple as this. It can also be, for example, if you, let's delete this, because on a free account, I think you can only do one automation. So keep that in mind. Um, if you go to, let's say you have a sales funnel, right? They made a sale, they made a low ticket sale, a low ticket product sale, and then you want to, let's say, uh, reach out to them and then get on a call and sell a higher ticket product to them, right? That's another example. So in this case, let's say we have a basic sales page. Again, some other sales page that I've worked on one of the other videos. Again, automation, add rule. So the trigger that triggers this would be, let's say they made a sale, right? It can also be funnel step form, but in this case, let's say they bought a $19 product, new sale. So it's, you know, sale made on this page. And then the action would be the same. Add to a pipeline stage, prospect or whatever, just whatever your, you know, your whole process is, your pipeline. There's many different ways you can do it. And then you select it, save rule, right? And then once they fill it out, they're going to be added to this automatically. So those are kind of like the two common ones, especially the form fill, but the sale obviously as well, or you can just go to automations. Uh, yeah, let's just open it again. Uh, go to rules. Let's just delete this existing one, delete create a new one. So obviously the action would be to add them to a pipeline stage, whatever it is, right? That would kind of be the same action all the time. It just depends on which stage uh, they would be added. But the trigger, you can have all kinds of triggers. If they get tagged, if the tag gets removed, if they went through a uh, an email sequence, right? They have gone through it and then you can kind of add them to this pipeline once they have gone through that. If they register for a webinar, right? There's all kinds of things. I guess the webinar, that's a paid feature, but you know, that's still an option. It's really good. If they've completed the whole course, right? We talked about the low ticket stuff. It can be once they purchase, or it can be once they've gone through the course, because then they're actually qualified because, you know, a lot of people will purchase a course if it's a low ticket course, because it's a good price and they won't go through it. So they will not be qualified, but people that go through the course, right? They complete it. Those are your top prospects. You can upsell them a high ticket product or lecture completed, module completed, same thing, right? Once they reach a certain point in the course, it can also be the same thing. Uh, enrolled in a community. Also, you can, you know, add them to the pipeline and then, you know, other team members sees, you know, they log in on Monday, they see, oh, six new, six new people got added, right? So I need to reach out to these people via email. And yeah, there's just all kind of kinds of actions that you can uh, use to, for that, basically. If you go back to the pipelines and yeah, if we click on the contact itself, just a couple last notes, you can see here, uh, you can add a note. Let's say, I don't know, reached out on, I don't know, whatever. December 1st, 2024, for example, right? Save that and it's gonna be added. So let's say I reached out, I moved it to the next column and then a team member will be able to see, right? They'll come in, they'll log in the next day and they'll be like, oh, okay, there's people in my column. Let me click on it, what happened, right? And then, then they, can, they can go and check the notes, right? Maybe there's more notes. I can, you know, note down more things. Maybe they responded or they have special conditions, you know, and then the next person, 
that takes over, they have these notes. You can add multiple notes. But yeah, notes, email, and if you click on more, open contact, uh, which just opens the, the actual under the contact section, right? More information, you can tag them manually and you can see kind of all the past information, what kind of campaigns they've gone through, what product they bought, tags, all that stuff, right? All their history in your CRM. So all this stuff is under here. But yeah, it's a really cool feature. Doesn't matter if you're running like your business alone uh, or you have like, a, especially if you have a team and they're, they're kind of responsible for separate different processes in that whole customer journey or pipeline or whatever you want to call it. This is a really great feature and it's free and definitely go check it out. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, comment down below. Uh, I love system.io. That's kind of pretty much all of my channel. And then, then yeah, any questions you might have, well, I'll be happy to help whichever way I can. Obviously, like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. and trying to hit uh, 1,000 subscribers this year. We'll see if, uh, if I'll succeed. And yeah, there's probably, at this moment, there's going to be some more system.io related videos popping up. And hopefully, I'll see you in one of those videos. So go check them out. See you next time. Bye.